The tribe is getting together. Yay. Our trio is together. We are, uh, last night we were all sitting at my camp and <laughs> I joked that we were pre-gaming for Quartzite. Uh, it feels so good to have my family here. I think we hung out for a couple hours last night on my rug, just under the stars, catching up with Yellow Wolf. Winston hasn't barked at Yellow Wolf one time. But she's uh, so full of light energy and peace. And dogs sense that. Huh, kiddo? Are you happy this morning? Our family's here. Good boy. I have to tell you guys, yesterday... <laughs> I got stung by a yellow jacket and I'll tell you what that shit hurt that was painful it flew into my hair and I kind of went like this and it got me on the thumb here I think twice and I'm still feeling pain today I um, took care of the swelling I put ointment on it I ended up taking ibuprofen. I don't have reactions to stings, but I have never felt anything like that. It was so painful. Now, the last time I got stung by something was three years ago in Indiana, and a hornet stung me wasn't nearly this painful. I mean, I'm still feeling, today I'm feeling like the itching and the burning, um, but shit, that hurt. Now, I have been stung by a scorpion before. And in my almost 25 years in Arizona, I've only been stung, well, I've been stung by a scorpion twice, but it was the same scorpion that stung me twice. And it was literally in my house. I saw the scorpion fall from the vent in my ceiling. It landed on my arm and it stung me twice. And what happened with the scorpion sting was it kind of felt like my arm was asleep. It was like tingling and it lasted like an hour or two and then it was gone, like no pain nothing. This yellow jacket sting, a thousand times worse than the scorpion sting. So yeah, that's really hurting. And I'm dealing with that right now. Winston's barking at some kids that are uh, riding their bicycles, but it is a beautiful day here. I'm wearing my Arizona, another Arizona Diamondback shirt. We are game one of the National League Division Series tonight against the Dodgers. And we've just been hanging out this morning with Justin and Yellow Wolf, kind of getting Yellow Wolf comfortable and set up. And I am so happy. I am so happy that uh, my tribe's here and we are pre-gaming for Quartzite. I'm heating up my lunch right now. And look who it is. I have a kitty. I have a kitty. Lister decided he wanted to get in my van and absolutely pass out. It's cozy. There's a slight breeze coming through the van. So he is a very happy boy. And Winston's barking at big off-leash dogs. Jordan and I actually went to the Arizona Diamondbacks game last weekend, the night that we clinched a playoff spot. And they were giving away these rally towels. So I have one at home, but I'm also going to travel with one. And I took some magnets and I hung it up for game one tonight. What do you think, kid? Man, I'm I'm just all decorated. I'm going all out. Is that a good bone, Bubba? Does it matter if it's half dead? Because it's just gonna be on short power. It's not pretty much the batteries are pretty much just a built in power. We were working on a video, a van tour with Justin and it started to rain. I knew there was a small chance of rain, but this is uh, slightly unexpected. So going to take a break. We have our lunch heating up and uh, listen to some football while I edit the video. This rain is really um, a nice surprise. We just went on a short walk and we had lunch, but now Winston is in his playpen. It's just barely sprinkling, nothing crazy out. But gosh, it feels like fall. 
This is incredible. It's like a rainy Sunday. I'm listening to football. It doesn't get too much better than this. Y'all, it is cold. <laughs> it is in the 50s. It's rainy. It's so cold, but I am glad that I am prepared and I put all my colder weather stuff into the van. So we have our down blankets, of course, my beanie, my hoodie, and we are snuggling. We just ate dinner and we've pretty much all been in our vans for the last couple of hours. It's only not even 530, but I have something else exciting to share. So we are, so I have my Laposa South family like in Quartzsite and turns out there's been like a new development and Yellow Wolf, Justin, Maddie, me, Daryl, and Marilyn are all going to be, uh, are all going to go to Sierra Vista to our friend Wayne's property and because he has four acres. So I leave on Thursday because I have a doctor appointment Friday. Maddie is currently on his way. He's in Texas and he's on his way back to Arizona from Georgia. Um, and then Justin and Yellow Wolf will head start heading south on Thursday. Um, and I think they plan to get there Friday. So Maddie will be in Sierra Vista, uh, first, then Justin and Yellow Wolf, and then I'll probably arrive around Sunday because since I have a doctor appointment on Friday, Saturday, I have like laundry to do, restocking to do. I need to like go buy a new bag of pellets. Like I have stuff I need to do. So I figure I'll just head down there Sunday and be the last to the party, but I don't want to miss out. So I'm really excited. It's going to be so much fun. I've been wanting to see Wayne's property and Maddie and I were going to stay there earlier this year, but, uh, Wayne wasn't there at the time. So I am stoked. It's going to be so much fun. Oh, I'm so excited. It's going to be amazing. Are you cozy? Are you getting warmed up? Got all the warm blankies out, huh? So this is an idea that my mom had, and I'm so glad that I took them. So these are work booties that we were using in Payson for renovations, and she gave me a bunch of pairs. And I'm so glad that she did because it is gross and rainy out, so I can just put my shoes in those uh, to keep them, uh, you know, to keep all the dirt and everything out of my van. So I just took them off as I was getting in my van, put them in the booties so everything stays clean. And we just had a hot dinner. I had some um, chicken Alfredo. And we're going to put our movie back on. Today I went into town and I left my campsite a mess. It was so disastrous from the pretty intense rainfall we got yesterday. So this morning I went ahead and hung up my towels on my tent. They were dry by the time I got back and then I just spent the last hour and a half cleaning up, sweeping because there was so much dirt, lots of pine needles on my rug, but look at it. Ooh, it's looking pristine. Uh, cleaned up everything, wiped stuff down. I actually even went to, there's kiddo. I have my hood open since I went into town today. My engine bay is warm. But I even went to the vacuums today and vacuumed my van because there was some dirt and residue from our rainy day yesterday. Hi. And if you didn't see it, we posted a van tour of Justin's van and trailer yesterday. So go ahead and check that out. It's now live on my channel. And Yellow Wolf, we will be doing a tour of her van as well, but when we get to Wayne's property down south in Sierra Vista because she wants to do some work on it. So stay tuned for that tour. Pretty exciting stuff. And tonight we have game two of Arizona Diamondbacks versus Dodgers for the NLDS. I wanted to give you all a quick update on my grandma. Many of you know that she has not been doing well. 
and this is my grandma in Minnesota who I am extremely close with. She's pretty much the only family I have uh, besides my mom and my siblings, so it's been very difficult uh, for me because she and I are close and she's very supportive of me, but uh, she's still not doing well and she's currently in the hospital. She was found unresponsive this morning in her memory care room and uh, but she's conscious and kind of back to the baseline that she was so my mom spoke to her earlier and she said she sounded good um, and she told me that I could call she'd probably recognize me but then my sister called her and it it wasn't good so my mom told me immediately do not call grandma because she knows like how heartbroken um, I would be if I heard her upset like that on the phone and um, so, but I'm, I, I'm, I've accepted where we're at with this situation. I've been doing a lot of like inner work and like, uh, energy work so I can connect with her, uh, on a higher level. And, uh, I know that this is not what she wanted for end of life. So I just pray that when she's ready, she goes in peace. Uh, but on a happy note, I know that she would be so thrilled with where I'm at right now and being with my friends and surrounded by love. So I know deep in my heart that, uh, she would just get a real kick out of, uh, what I'm doing right now with my friends. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video all the way through. Remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you're new here, I will see you next time.